So, so greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is May Sumay of Cambodianess, and today we are having Mr. Uh, Chan Sopon, who is an expert in uh, Cambodian traditional uh, textile from the Department of uh, Culture and Fine Art. And today we are going to have a deep conversation about uh, the Khmer traditional textile that is linked to uh, tourism uh, in Simria province and across uh, the, the country as a whole. So, Chumdrip uh, Sum, Mr. Uh, Sopwan. Good morning, sir. So, uh, Good Cambodian morning. is known for the rich in culture yeah. and uh, traditions. So, before we introduce the whole country and uh, another level of culture, we have uh, to have them understand a little bit about uh, a part of uh, the Cambodian culture. And a part of this culture, we also have uh, traditional outfits. So, uh, based on uh, your expertise, uh, how many kinds of traditional outfit does Cambodia have? If we want to talk about the Khmer outfit in the Cambodia traditional like that, we have the, uh, three kinds of major in the Cambodia. First, um, like the the closing for the royal ceremony in the royal family. Uh, second, for the um, re religion. And the third, for the uh, uh, funeral closing. And then the first in the royal family, uh, the outfit be different from another person. Because in the royal family, to do a lot of jewel ground and the night color, like the yellow and the red color. But in the religion, in the Cambodia, we had to Brahma and uh, Buddhism. So in the past time, when we go to, 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 go to um, follow the Brahma, go to the temple, celebrate something, they use the uh, red, yellow, blue col color. But now we are changing. Go to Pagoda, we use the white color, and uh, some skirt, something like that, especially white color. And for the uh, uh, funeral um, closing, when we go to enjoy the past, in the Europe, the black color. Yes. But in the Cambodia, the white color. So Cambodia, they, 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 um, they, they cut like that, one, two, three, the past like that, very fluently, this one. Yes, sir. So, uh, is there any kind of the traditional outfit that people can wear on their daily basis, sir? Uh, for the um, daily, uh, in the Cambodia um, uh, civilization, they use like the um, simple the canvas to make from cartoon, from seal. If the rich people, they use the seal, and the poor people, in the people in the live in the countryside, they use the cartoon. In the Cambodia, they said they said that uh, sung and uh, uh, kabas like that. Kabas okay, like that. Uh, one more thing, sir. Uh, there are uh, there are ceremonies or some uh, special or specific occasions that people still wear traditional outfits to, like uh, the wedding or the religious uh, public holiday, something like that. So. Uh, are there any difference between the traditional outfits that they wear to the uh, specific occasions? Sometimes the um, enjoying the wedding, they use the dress like the granat pa and khmer seal and the whole pamong like that. In the pamong, it's not khmer language; in the Thai language only. But in the Cambodia, they call that a seal. Seal. But seal. And then they heard, uh, like the rich person, they use the whole. Holes, that means a lot of the seal, but they had the more, more uh, picture inside. And, and then, like the holy day for the um, retrace the mouth sauce, that means the dinner, color dinner, something. Mm -hmm. Some of the people, they use the whole. It's very nice, a very special hole. We had the, like the um, picture of the Naga house, uh, peacock, and uh, uh, the king bird, something like that. So as you said, that uh, the rich might afford the whole. Yes. Uh, so in, in this sense, uh, is there any difference between uh, people, uh, the traditional outfit that people can afford? So like uh, 
people who can spend more money, they can get a good, a better quality of traditional outfit. Mm. But a traditional outfits like whole, it's really valuable mm. because some parts of Cambodia, people still make it by hand mm. or gay, we call it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, can how can you say about the uh, value and about the pricing in the market about all those traditional outfits? Sometimes, like the, we want to go to buy the whole special hole in the uh, seal bag quality, maybe around uh, five hundred or six hundred dollar one cabin, maybe one uh, four meter. Four meters. Yeah, yeah. four meter one cabin. Uh, cabin so that means like the the past time they come to use the sample chong cabin, we had the four meter. Yes, four meter. And then like the uh, simple person, but medium person, they use the katong. Some put sung, so they made it cheaper than seal. Yeah. So uh, for the cheaper traditional outfit, they can mm. wear on the daily basic or for work. But for the expensive ones, they can wear to the special occasions. Yeah. Yeah. So as uh, times pass by, uh, there are less and less uh, people. There are fewer and fewer people who can uh, make the whole and traditional outfits. But in Simria province, uh, is there any place that can provide the tourists a visit or, uh, you know, a watch of the production line of the traditional outfit in this uh, particular province? In the Simria, we had the one um, Asian textile museum, very special one, paid one place in the Simria. If another tour, they want to come to visit there, it's okay, it's nice place. And then if we want to go to visit the people to make the product of the seal like that, go to Banti Sray. Banti Sray, um, we had the three places, IKTT, uh, Institute Khmer Traditional Textile, uh, Golden Seal, and uh, a small place, another place too. But uh, very best in uh, Simri, IKTT. So, uh, but in the, mu the textile museum, sir, are there many tourists visiting the museum at the moment? Um, sometime um, before the COVID-19, a lot of tourists to come. And it, especially the students in the Cambodia too, they want to learn and to join, and they want to know about, oh, about the Khmer textile, the Khmer um, traditional textile like that, they go to join them. They had the guide through, um, in the museum, we had the guy to um, uh, explain anything about the seal, uh, history of the seal, what kind of the seal. We had the guy there too. But uh, so right now, uh, uh, some, some tourists are a little bit I need to enjoy there. Yeah. So in this sense, uh, uh, fewer and fewer tourists go to uh, visit the textile museum. In this case, uh, can you share with us about your insights or the strategies that we can uh, make the museum more popular again, like uh, the previous time before the COVID pandemic? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's my idea. I think so maybe the museum please to share and share a lot of information uh, worldwide to, to show the people. In the same way, we had the museum like this, like that. We have a special place, please to come and join. So uh, information very important for, for to show the people around the world. So right now, um, some guys, they visit the same they don't know where the, where the textile museum. But um, a little bit, a uh, tuk-tuk guy, and the guy, a little bit, they know, oh, go to street uh, 16, we have the uh, museum, this one, this one, this one. A little bit no, but um, my my opinion, please to to share to share like the Facebook and the website around uh, the people with the hotel, with the restaurant, with the tuk tuk guy. Please to share before if we want to um, another guy or another tourist to visit there. Please information very important. Yes, sir. So uh, you have in mind that. Uh, to spread it further or to attract more tourists into the museum, we have to promote mm. uh, more uh, ex exclusively. 
But uh, what are the interesting parts about the textile museum that you think can attract more tourists, not only international tourists, but a national tourist too? Um, because uh, in the museum, very special place, another place. I, I think so that the, uh, the past in the museum, we had the Asian, especially now, we had the Asian textile there. Asian yeah, I mean in the uh, mean Asian ten the country inside, but in the Cambodia we have uh, some more too in India too. I think uh, very important there. Mm, uh, we can um, share information in the high school, university in the Cambodia something, because uh, in the Phnom Penh uh, some students they don't know about the New Zealand this one. When, uh, when you say that they don't know about this textile or the traditional outfit, do you think that there is too little no knowledge, mm, knowledge or promotion yeah. to reach them? Or it's just that uh, the young people are now not really interested in this <laughs> kind of thing? Um, uh, this one, I I thinking a long time about this one. Uh, what, the, uh, by, what the way before to... Uh, the Jew too interesting about this one. Um, especially um, maybe in the school, maybe to put the program about to learn about the Khmer trade, there's not textile there in another school, in the school in Cambodia. So we can to learn step by step in the future. I think so youth and um, the, the student, they very interesting about the Khmer trade, there's not textile. What kind they say that about, oh, what is plow? What does that mean, the plow? What is one? Like the Pkachan. In the Pkachan, what kind the, the people to use in the pastime? In the elephant, in the dragon, who to use is the picture, this one? Maybe the step by step, now, Pkachan, that means for the queen. And the dragon, uh, or naga, that means for the king. And the elephants, that means the commander soldier, like that. If we step by step to explain anything about this one, I hope so. Maybe the, the children and our youth, they were it's interesting about the Cambodia traditional textile. Yes, sir. So uh, looking back to uh, our topic, like uh, as we can see, not only in the museum, but mm. in the hotel or any restaurant, they usually uh, display the, the uh, picture of the sculpture of Absara, and mm. we can see the headwears, the jewelry, the skirts. And I'm, I'm wondering if uh, people, the Cambodian people nowadays, are still wearing this kind of thing. And if so, uh, w on what occasions do they wear to? Sometimes now, they in the Cambodia, they they use like that, like the up, the jewel, like the Absara or the king to head the crown something. I think so. Maybe the the pre uh, like the building in the Cambodia. So, but um, the uh, we had long story about the Funan, Chen La, Angkor, Lung Wei, Udong, um, like the Songkom Rinijums. That mean and Khmer Republic like that. We had different style for the youth when the we are building. So um, not not now the um, the people. Now the people in the Cambodia, they follow about the trade for building. They take the style from Udong. So that means the alpine skirt and a jewel and a very special hair. But not, 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 um, not, we are the same, the king and the queen, but they follow. They follow king and the queen when to um, uh, celebrate or uh, to make the king and the queen. They use like the uh, like spy, spy then. So that means the gold, a lot of gold in a jewel like that. The gold color, same thing. For the for the building, they follow from the Udong style. But in uh, um, be, before Udong style, we had Lung Wei, um, Angkor, different different kind. Some sometimes when the, we are follow now we are follow the king and the queen, but not just um, just the ground. Why? Because the king only and the queen only to use the crown. They, they follow the uh, outfit, but no, 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 use the crown. 
Yeah. So they, they are still uh, applying and yeah. they are still conserving mm. the traditional uh, jewelries and how uh, the uh, Khmer ancestors used to wear during the wedding or special occasions. And in the textile museums, uh, uh, why do you think the tourists, especially the foreigner, should visit the textile museum during their stay in the Siem Reap? And do you think that based on the traditional outfits alone can attract international tourists to visit Cambodia or Siem Reap in particular? Because uh, in this sense, uh, many tourists know about Siem Reap based on the Angkor Wat or the temples, but uh, do you somehow wish that more foreign tourists come to Cambodia because they want to know about uh, traditional outfits mm. and the uh, Khmer traditional textile? So. Um, the Khmer traditional textile, I, I, I um, hope so. This one, very specialist place in Bandi uh, Sri only in Cambodia. But uh, some, sometimes, if the tourists they want to visit another country, they want to know uh, everything about the story, about the traditional um, outfit, food, and something they want to know. Very specially for the tourists when visit in in another country, they want to know about this one first. And then in the Cambodia, we visited the old old country in the world. Because we had a long, long time history. I think so in the Cambodia, very special place for the tourists to visit there. Especially outfit, this one. Um, outfit um, traditional to use uh, like the textile, anything. Very, very special. Like, why I, I think like this? Because the Chinese, uh, in the China, we have a lot of clothes for the step by step of the king. In the Cambodia, we had a long time, this one the same. If they want to know, oh, they like the full non style, where the king and the queen and the people, they choose which one. And then we can see in the statue. But in the Anko style, uh, where they, uh, which one they use the, the dress like that, go to visit another temple. They want to know, oh, Soraya Varaman style, um, Che Varaman number two style. J. Varaman number four style, J. Varaman number seven, four, so the Yaw Varaman, Indra Varaman style. We have a lot, a, a lot of style. So, very important if they want to know oh, about the Khmer the North Stage style. They, they, if they, they read the book and to learn something about Khmer, traditional North Stage style, very important for the oh, special time, special place when I come to visit. I know a lot about the experience in Cambodia. They, uh, we have this one. Like me, when I go to visit another country, I first time I want, I go to museum first. Because in a museum, they take everything to put in museum, like the um, uh, traditional textile, um, outfit, something. In the China and the Beijing, you come. When I go there, I go to museum first. If I learn everything about the museum, I go to around another, uh, visit another place. Oh, I understand this one, this one, this one, this one. When I come back to my country, oh, I, I report about this one. Oh, I'm so surprised if I know this one, if I know this one. So for the tourism too, in the visit in Cambodia, the first time, come to museum. First, second, uh, 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 museum, uh, traditional textile, this one. And then second, third time, uh, third time, go to visit in the temple. They can more understand about the Cambodia civilization. This one, yes, sir. So, uh, traditional outfits and the whole, yeah, we can say that it holds uh, the most priceless history because uh, Cambodia is a long time country from uh, the, the history time. So, the traditional outfit does not only say about culture, mm. but it also connects to uh, the history that cannot be stolen because each country has its own history. And in this Simri or across the country in particular, so, uh, if the visitors, <coughs> especially uh, international visitors, let's mm. say they come to the 
uh, textile museum and they get interest in knowing more and they want to wear the traditional outfits too. So what, uh, where is the best place <coughs> that can offer the best quality of uh, traditional outfits that they can find? In the same area, um, we have in the, um, if another guy they want to use the a real my uh, outfit traditional or my uh, traditional clothes, please to um, to go to um, um, in, the, uh, in the culture in Simria. We, we have seen uh, culture fine art in the Simria. We, we have we can prepare for another to to guy to come. And then, um, uh, but uh, so pride very high uh, another place a little bit only. But um, we can to uh, real my traditional outfit. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> in this sense, uh, uh, first of all, before they buy, they mm. should know right uh, where they should wear these traditional outfits too. So before buying the those in traditional outfits. Uh, what do you think they should know first before they choose the right one that is suitable for them <laughs> that they can wear like uh, be one of the Cambodian people just because they wear the traditional outfit? I, I, I think so IKTT first to come a very special place. Go to if you want to buy something about the Khmer trend is not textile, okay, to go. But in the Cambodia, uh, we have some place too. But um, like I use this one, the, uh, like the, this one is seal. I use it from IKTT, very special place. And the real, uh, real color, natural color, and a natural seal. And uh, some guy, they want to the souvenir or the uh, my outfit, they can do buy there and they use in the cut. It, it, I think so, it's very best place there. So uh, based on uh, this, uh, can say a uh, scarf mm. alone, it's very uh, useful, mm. helpful, and can be also fashionable. Mm. But uh, for you personally, uh, what do you use this scarf for, sir? <laughs> yes, I use it, sir. Uh, for for like uh, only on special occasion, or do you use it on daily basis? Uh, no, as uh, special. Uh, Occasion, yeah. yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, Mr. Thank you. Thank, thank for you. sharing your uh, very informative uh, insights about uh, traditional uh, outfits. So uh, thank you, everyone, for being here with us from the beginning until the end. I hope that you have learned a lot about uh, traditional outfits of Cambodia that you can see not only in Simria but also uh, the other parts of the country of Cambodia. Thank you so much.